Hey guys, glad you could make it to another little update video here. Um, honestly, not too much to share this week. Basically, just some some logic and stuff for the traps here. Um, so as we've seen, and I've been working on traps for a while now. I know some of this code I just for the life of me could not figure out. So I went to the my test forums and asked under the modding discussion sub form and then on the um what is it modding questions post for modding questions here something like that thread and i posted a modding question and got an answer from ben ben is a hero in my books because he helped me figure this code out so as we all knew we could bait traps with anything nothing changed there now, this change is not thanks to Ben. This is from Jordan for Baines or something like that. Um, I took a look at one of his code or one of his mods to see the code to see how he was doing like the entities and stuff because he had some that did that. Oh wow, that was fast. And um, while I was looking through that, I seen he had some code that you could use for groups to check if something's in a group. So I. It's like six lines of little code. So I grabbed that. So traps now can do groups. So group meat works in these traps. So anything that is in the meat group, i.e. raw steak, cooked steak, salted steak, smoked steak, it is all available to trap with. Um, we have multiple different things that are showing up here now. So like you just seen there, we had the... We had the stone. Let's see what we catch here. Um, caught some stone again. Uh, with the ability of now doing different baits and actually checking what bait it is. Because here's the thing. I knew how to check if the inventory was a certain thing, but I did not know how to just get the name back of what the inventory was. With knowing what the inventory is, I am more easily able to pretty much put out different baits, or not bait, put out different captures. I haven't implemented that yet, but I'm able to put out different captures for what's in the traps. So here we've got some stone, we've got some dirt, other options are, are a tree rather, other options I think are dirt, and um, apple, I think. So we've got that, I know what these are. Because I do know what they are, I can, when you harvest them, and I haven't implemented this yet either, when you harvest it, instead of just picking up that node, you can actually get something different. So when the animals get added in, you'll have the option to, you know, say you catch an animal here, say this is an animal, we can release it, which will just spawn the animal into the world at the trap, or when we harvest it, instead of just getting one apple, we'll get some amount of hide, some amount of meat, some bone, things like that. The other thing I have changed, and this will change again, but currently it is working, is um, the ABMs for the traps here. Traps require there to be grass near them. Anything in group grass. So this grass, this grass, the shorter grass, this really short grass, doesn't matter. This trap's never going to catch anything though, because as we look around it, there is no neighboring nodes that are grass. Unfortunately, neighboring nodes, I think, makes it a little too close. So I need to go in a little further radius, which I know is doable. I just have to read up on how to do that and check a larger area to see if there's grass. Now, the reason for this being a little balancing out of gameplay, because we have the ability here to catch things, obviously. And those caught things have the ability to be eaten by other things. Now, of course, none of this actually ever happens. It's all based on chance and just ABMs. But see, so we have a simple snare with game, and it already was raided. So you got to check on your traps often enough to make sure that if you caught something, you grab it before something else comes along and steals it. However, on the flip side, if you're checking it out too often you're going to kill all the grass growing around it. 
If you kill all the grass growing around it, there's no reason for the animal that's straying into your trap to stray into your trap because it's going through a, a field where it's wide open. You know, animals are going to tend to go through the grasses where they're a little more camouflaged, protected from predators, protected from their prey. Uh, yeah, where they can sneak up on their prey. I don't think they're really worried about their uh, prey attacking them too much. So, yeah, we're still waiting for something to wander in. It's never going to happen. Um, so with this being implemented, I will be... Yeah, something stole my trap. Yeah, I know. I will be um, adding in other things. So we'll have like fruit bait, maybe a veggie bait. And that'll allow us to capture different animals. So we'll have some things that will go after meat, some things that'll go after fruit, some things that'll go after vegetables. I might put in something that'll go after garbage, like a raccoon. So you could pretty much literally bait with anything and potentially catch a raccoon some kind of a scavenger like that, or a skunk, you know? And I'm kind of thinking of doing the possibility when we harvest some game that a bad thing will happen to. I haven't quite decided on that yet. So say you're trying to harvest a, uh, a fox or a wolf or something, and maybe there's a slight chance... Oh, wait, yeah, I got that. Maybe there's a slight chance that he bites you and you take damage, potentially, you know, get sick, and then he gets away. So I think that would add a lot to the gameplay as well. Let me know what you think in the comments, please, so I know if I should pursue that or not. Uh, and honestly, that wraps up, wraps up this video. Just traps updated. Um, several mods have been updated as well. Check out the change log in the... Uh, GitHub repo, if you want to actually see all of those, it's pretty much just goblins, river map gen, maybe once again, and uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Started working on rewriting the spoiling code, so everything will be able to spoil. Well, everything won't spoil, but I'll have the ability to make more things spoil instead of just one node to one spoiled node, so that's exciting. Uh, turns out it's way harder than I thought it would be. I don't know nearly enough Lua. And not nearly enough time to devote trial and error. So that's going to be a while coming out. But I have started on it. And yeah, I will wrap that up, wrap this up here. So links will all be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys. And I'll catch you again next week. Same time, same channel.